pulled to the ground and handcuffed by Los Angeles Sheriff deputies, reporter Josie Huang is heard calling out that she is press. Three years after that September 2020 arrest, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department and the L.A. Board of Supervisors agreed to pay Huang a $700,000 settlement. In the same year as Huang's case, the U.S. Press Freedom Tracker documents close to 100 arrests and 632 assaults on reporters, most in the wake of widespread protests over the in-custody death of George Floyd. It is a record settlement following dozens of cases of police and press clashes. The settlement in and of itself, $700,000, represents a reform um, that I hope will deter future assaults and arrests of other reporters because I don't think taxpayers want law enforcement to be um, abusing journalists. Wong's own footage captures the moment of her arrest as officers handcuff her. Huang, then working for local station KPCC, clearly and repeatedly identifies herself and her news station. Still, deputies charged her with obstructing police. It took three years for the nonprofit, the Reporters Committee for Freedom of the Press, and co counsels at Gibson, Dunn, and Crutcher to obtain the settlement and have a court wipe the charge from her record. It isn't just the sort of physical violence done to her, it was the violence to her name and to her profession that the entire department did um, after and during and after the event that was so scary. What stands out in Huang's settlement are the requirements for police. The settlement calls for officers to be briefed on how to deal with journalists during certain patrols, including protests and for police to provide officers and staff with written guidance on laws and policies around media interaction. Current L.A. Sheriff Bob Luna declined our request for an interview. In an email, the department says there was a thorough internal investigation into this incident and the appropriate administrative action was taken. And in this email, the department says its policies on media during civil unrest are distributed to staff, but the settlement does not require a change in policy. Huang still works for NPR member station, the LAS, and still covers protests. Reporters have to be the eyes and ears of the public um, and be able to cover law enforcement and cover law enforcement activities so the public knows how their police forces are doing. She says she will never forget the assignment that led to her arrest, but also says the settlement helps advance the First Amendment. Robin Guest, VOA News, Los Angeles, California.